So hey guys, this is another video tutorial of Windows System Programming. In this tutorial, we'll see how to create thread. So definition is that thread is an independent entity which runs within a process. And there are some basic information about the thread while creating the thread in Windows operating system. So first one is thread share some resources to process except stack and registers. So a stack and register does not share by the process. By default thread size in Windows operating system is 1 MB of a stack. Third one is that we can create 2048 maximum thread in a process from the MSDN. I'll show you uh, in APIs. Terminating a thread does not necessarily remove the thread object from the operating system. The thread object is deleted when the last handle to the thread is closed. So whenever we create the thread in Windows operating system, so it will, uh, the return type of uh, it will return a newly created handle for the thread so when uh, whenever whenever we close the handle so it will uh, delete it by the memory uh, sorry it will uh, automatically release the memory of that whenever we close the handle of for the thread so it's money for more information <laughs> you can reach to the msdn website so i'll highly recommend to you go and read the msdn for the more information so here i'll use the some api function first i'll show you a thread function here uh, simply it says that create a thread to execute within the virtual address space of the calling process so we know that whenever we create the process so by default one uh, by default one thread will be created so uh, the return type of that function is the handle and it takes around six argument of that first one is that the security uh, the thread attributes the uh, the type of that is uh, lp security underscore attribute so it says that uh, something that key if you if lp thread attribute is null the handle cannot be inherited so i'll keep it here null the stack size stack size is if you want to see the stack size by default here so uh, go here in a remarks section if you see here the by default every thread has one mb of a stack space therefore you can create most at most 204 at thread if we can reduce the default stack size so we can create more and more thread so by, but we can create maximum up to the 204 at thread in a process And uh, third argument is the starting address of that your thread function. Uh, fourth argument is this is the input but optional, so I'll keep here I'll keep it here null only. And fifth argument is that creation flag. If you see here the creation flag, in creation flags there are three. Uh, bit is there first one is the zero the thread runs immediately after the creation whenever we create the thread and if you set this parameter to zero so after creating the thread it will uh, immediately runs after creating the thread and second one is the create suspended so later time of point we can run our thread Th third one is the stack size parameter is reservation so it will take the some specified committed size whatever we uh, windows people defined in a header file and here is the thread id so we'll use here thread id and if you see the here return value the function succeeded the return value is handled to the new thread and if this null then something goes wrong and we can get the error information with the help of get last error function and don't forget to read the remarks section so this was the so i'll start here coding so i'll use here handle function h thread one divided for thread id because the size of thread id is divided so as thread equal to create thread so first argument is a security attribute so 
simply I'll keep it here null third one is the stack size so a stack size by default would be a 1 MB so I'll keep it here null 0 third one is the starting address so let's say thread function this one is our thread function void parameters so generally we'll keep here null because the long pointer to void is here uh, creation flag creation flag simply put 0 and last one is your thread id so thread id is long pointer so i'll use here thread id sorry Already. and we have to specify here our uh, this is the standard we have to follow thread fun and then lp void uh, lp param LP param so simply I'll keep it here thread running that's it and return 0 so we'll check condition here if null print here get last error function will use for error number error number and we can print here and after success fully if it's success so print here success message so thread creation success and then after that uh, we have to print the thread id thread id and lastly we have to use close handle function h thread that's it so now I have just created the thread check the condition and I am printing here the thread ID whenever this function success so it goes here and simply it will print thread running so go to build section and build our solution so now it's been compiling ok success so go to debug section start debugging see here thread creation success thread running and when and our thread is of double five three two so this was the basic pro programming of how to create thread thanks for watching this video do hit comment share and subscribe to this channel